Hey, this is Steve from SewingGold.com. Uh, we have a customer that needs to retime their Juki DNU1541S, the hook assembly, um, which we don't really like you doing, but if you need to do it, this is the place that you'll need to get into it, and it's the gearbox on the machine here. So you'll want to remove that rubber stopper there. And then inside here, you've got two screws. Okay, just this one here. You don't want to take this off. You don't want to take this one off. Right here, there's one screw there, so it's a hex key screw or an Allen wrench. There's one there, and then if I turn the hand wheel, there's another one. Okay, so we have two hex key, hex key screws or Allen wrench screws. Um, so you're going to need a pretty strong Allen wrench for that. Um, and then you would loosen that and then adjust the timing. I'm going to pause the video for a second, then I'm going to reposition the machine so I could show you the proper position of the hook assembly. Now, in the book, I believe it tells you how to time it. It'll give you like um, different measurements. I'm just going to show you. I, I don't have the measurements and I don't have the book open right now, so I'm going to show you this. Okay, so now I've got a nice, good close up on the. This part of the time, and we just want to make sure the hook side to side is in the proper position. Um, so I'm going to do this really, really slow. And you can sort of see there's like a smidge of space there. And if I push, you got a little bit of flex to the needle, but very little. Okay, this is a pretty big needle I have in there. I think it's like a size 23. Okay, and that should be the one that came with the machine. This one's a leather point needle. All right, so I'm gonna go back down, nice and slow. Let me get rid of this, whatever that is. Hang on, here we go again. Coming down, then coming back up. And then I'll show a side view too. Okay, so you can see that little tiny bit of space there. Let me see if I can zoom in a little more, give me one second. All right, that's about as close as I can get. It's a little fuzzy, but we'll still be able to see. So I'm gonna spin it. And then here we go, needle coming down, needle coming back up, and you see that little bit of space there. All right, so hopefully that's pretty clear. I think it is. Um, and then I'm gonna show you a different view, um, just sort of to the side a little bit. Give me one minute on that. All right, so here's super close up again, side view side view that I can get with my tripod holding the camera because otherwise it would be very, very shaky right now. So here, needle coming down, needle coming back up. Pretty good view. Okay, do it again. Needle coming down. Needle on its way back up. There, we're about to cross. Cross, and then you see the eye of the deal. All right, so I'm hoping this will help you time your machine, uh, the gear, uh, that gear underneath. So if you need to move the hook, so basically if you need to mo move the hook this way, clockwise, okay, and not side to side. So if you need to move it where it's spinning and you need to have it to pick up just right at this point coming up, if, you, if it's off at all, then you would want to loosen the gear. If you're just moving it side to side, uh, that first view I showed you, you're not going to have to loosen the, the gear screws. Um, like I said, we don't really want you to do that, but if you do it, do it at your own risk. Um, you know, moving it side to side is not overly difficult. There's a couple screws. Oops, my finger's huge in this. Let me zoom out. Um, there's a couple screws down here. Um, two or three screws to loosen the hook, and then you can move it uh, side to side. Okay, um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, this is a difficult one. Uh, it's not like I can tell you exactly where to put it. All right, so hopefully this helps. Uh, I am Steve from SewingGold.com. Thank you.